Thank you, Right, so, what's up now? Alright, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Gan. So, I'm a... Uh, oh yeah. I'm <laughs> an engineer at Huawei with Automatic. Yeah, so today I'm going to talk about uh, breaking key communication silo with WordPress. Alright, so yeah, let's go to slide. the next slide. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, first uh, let's talk about key communication silo. Alright, so what, what, do we, what do we mean by that? Right, so what's up now? Alright, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Gan. So I'm a. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> engineer at Huawei with Automatic. Yeah, so today I'm going to talk about uh, breaking key communication silo with WordPress. Alright, so yeah, let's go to the slide. The next slide. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. First, uh, let's talk about key communication silo. All right. So what what do we what do we mean by that? And yeah, next next one. Right. So this is the uh, conventionally or traditionally we have this uh, communication method we use emails. Right. So I guess most of the companies we use emails like uh, let's say oh your boss your manager hey ask you to do, to do something. And uh, so your boss sends you an email and then probably send you some documents, some code project requirements you need to deliver this thing. And then you use, you use that email and then communicate with your team of people, right? And then so all these things communication via emails. And uh, sometimes with all these emails, things are with all the information are within those emails, in those attachments. And uh, this form some sort of information silo. So imagine like, okay, you, you run all this uh, communication via emails. So what would happen if, let's say one day, your boss left the company and then eventually you leave the company and then all those all this information will be stuck in the emails and then nobody else will be able to access them. Like let's say, oh, marketing team or support team, they won't be able, it's difficult for them to get access to this. Or let's say if you have a new joiner joining your team, how do they get access to all the information in the past? How do they, how, how do they know the history of, the, of your decision in the team? Right, and uh, this is a problem with emails. Then next slide, and of course, for the past few years we have this COVID, and then right now we have this post-COVID era. And uh, because of this COVID, we have been doing all this whole remote job, and then right now some some of the companies are doing hybrid remote work. And with all this hybrid setup, a lot of people are communicating via you know instant messaging app like WhatsApp. Hey, your boss asks you to do things via WhatsApp. Send your document in WhatsApp, right? And you have like. Then you have one, one chat with your boss, and then you have another group chat with your team, and then another group chat with the cross teams, all those things. So sometimes you need to forward messages between all these things, right? And again, it's some, another form of information silo, right? And on the next slide. So this is what I mean by the information silo. So you have like information in one part of silo and information in another part of silo. And let's say your boss ends up saying that, hey, why don't you, these two things all communicate together? And when that happens, then you've got to reshare all the information. And uh, that is difficult. So I hope that um, maybe some of you have faced this kind of experience. If you have, raise up your hand. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we do have some sort of this experience. And I, I myself, I faced this experience when I work in like, big enterprise companies, multinational, multinational companies years ago. But I, I collaborated with people from the US and communicated via emails. And uh, yeah, information starts in emails. So. How do we solve this problem, right? Next slide. So this problem is not something new, right? Um, so people come, came up with all these, you know, um, services or solutions. Like for example, oh, you can use Google Docs, right? You can put your all those attachments into Google Drive, right? And uh, there's also this this thing called Confluence. Confluence is a uh, like uh, let's say knowledge management software where you put document management software where you put all the information in Confluence and anybody you can access it, you can grant access to them. Um, yeah, then, or you can use Notes app, right? Like let's say Notion or Apple Notes, you can share all this information. But again, all these solutions, each of them, they have their own drawback. Like, oh, if you put things into Google Docs or Google Drive, would Google look into your information to empower their own AI and stuff? You know, look into your information. And Confluence, if you use Confluence for all those third-party software as a service, you are probably stuck in their ecosystem. Right, like uh, let's say you use Notion, you're probably stuck in, into their own specific format. If you want, if let's say one day Notion goes bankrupt, or you know, uh, they are they start to change their pricing, you want to get out of Notion, right? Is there a way for you to export your data and then move it to some other platform, right? And uh, yeah, so today I would like to 
in this talk, I would like to uh, present you an idea and slide. So this idea is to, how about if we use WordPress to do all those things, right? WordPress can be a solution to all this, right? And uh, yeah, so next, next one. So I work with Automatic and this is how we do our things in Automatic. We use WordPress to do all those things like knowledge management and uh, internal company operations. And we use this software called P2. And uh, P2 is it's, it's like a WordPress theme. Um, so it's essentially if this is the, um, let's say the, the main site, is actually that our demo site, automatic.p2.demo.wordpress.com. So you come, you come to this main page and we have like post over here. You can essentially, it looks like an email inbox. At first glance, it looks like an email inbox. So you're like, oh, this is like one email, one email, one email. And uh, you click on it, then it goes into the email thread. Okay, next one. So you click on one of the, uh, the uh, posts, you can have all these details. And of course, only this you can have like, all the content and all the embed, embed so you have images, you can have videos, or embed, all those things. Um, yes. Um, okay, yes. Next one. And over here we talk about P2, and I just want to stress like, okay, P2 is our company product, our company service, and you can actually try it. Like as I put in a, 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 a link to our service, you can actually go and try it. That's a that's a free tier. You can use it. But essentially, this is not a sales pitch. I'm not trying to sell you like, hey, sell you this product or ask you to pay us money. Uh, but then the thing is, this is. I hope this talk is meant to be an inspiration to you where you can use WordPress to do all these things. Because the thing is traditionally when we talk, when we think about WordPress, what do you think uh, what do you think about what do you think um, when it, when we talk about WordPress, what do you think of it? We usually think about hey WordPress, I wanna do a blog, you know, for the whole world to see what I'm doing, or I wanna set up a company website, you know, use WordPress. So when we talk about all these things, we are thinking about external world facing for the public to see what we are doing. But we can actually also use WordPress as our own internal tool, like an internal team communication tool. Next one. Like this is how, this is how we use it um, in automatic. Um, WordPress as a team communication tool, we use it in for, let's say, a team, a, a team internal communication tool. Or we can also use it for cross teams, cross division, and for some of, some of the, some of our usage, we also use P2 for external communication. We have like external contractors, like I say, um, software testers, and we allow access, we allow those software testers to access our complaint P2, and they can post their yeah, updates in, uh, in, our, in our site. And you can use WordPress and P2 as a project management tool to post project updates. You can use it for knowledge management. Uh, yeah, for kind of any kind of knowledge, let's say knowledge about product, software, and you can use it for business company update, uh, product roadmap. You can have weekly update, like some software development companies you use, you do like daily setup or weekly setup, and you can use you can do that over here. Uh, you can do it, use it for HR purpose. Let's say, oh, this person left the company, or this person got promoted. How do you want to announce it to the whole company? Right? You, you can use this yeah, as a, as a tool. You can use it for incident management. So it's a management like let's say you have a security breach, security vulnerability, and uh, you want to you want everyone to look into it. So this is how you post info and get everyone up updated, get everyone up to date. And yeah, lastly we have this these are the things if you wanna have a try and look into it. Um, yeah, I think that's roughly about it. Next one. Yes, that's the end of it. So I hope this talk uh, has been inspiration that uh, you can use this. Uh, you can come up, let's say, with a plugin with a theme, and uh, you can use it in your own company operation. And I think this this could be especially useful and beneficial for let's say developer agency. If you're a WordPress developer agency or WooCommerce developer agency, you can have something like this in your own company to power your own internal company operation because it's essentially like a. Uh, I mean. In automatic, we look at it as a way to not fool our, our own product because we are automatically work on all these things like WordPress and WooCommerce. So when we use this tool, WordPress, to power our own internal company operation, then it's a way for us to uh, improve the product, improve the for the benefit of the whole ecosystem.
Um, yeah. So that's all for me. Thank you.